I just want to say thank you to everyone who watches my YouTube channel. And if you don't think a Savannah Monitor will play tug of war, you're wrong. Because they will. And they're actually really good at it. There we go. So if you guys like my videos, oh, he's strong. Please go ahead and leave a like. That helps grow my channel. Also, please comment on my videos. I love interacting with you guys. Uh, it's a lot of fun and I get to answer questions and see that you guys care. Uh, and if you're not a member of the family, you can go ahead and subscribe. It's free. It helps me grow the channel even more. And I've listened to you guys and I do have a Patreon down below. Oh, the alligator death roll. So please go ahead and uh, like, comment, subscribe, bell icon. Hi, Reptile Rescue family. So this is kind of an update video, I guess. I made a video at the beginning of November 2022. I'm just putting the year in because if you watch this later. On how people end up killing and drowning their own bearded dragons when they're in a bath. And it blew up. It went viral. Over 4 million views in, in less than a month. It's just crazy. And the big thing was... Which was really sad for me. And this might be a little bit of a longer video. But we're going to get to it. How many people were commenting on that video. That this is something that happened to them. You know you had the typical people saying. Hey this is fake news. This isn't real. And then you had the uptick of people saying. I wonder if this is true. And then I had the amount of people saying. Oh my god this happened. This even happened recently. And. I wanted to make a slightly longer video. That was a YouTube short. So, you know, you're limited up to one minute and one second maximum for that video. And I tried to pack in as much information, but I just wanted to get it seen by as many owners as possible. So in this video, I'm just going to go over why, how, you know, how do you kill it, your bearded dragon after they take a bath or during their bath, why it happens and how easy it is to prevent it, but also on the flip side, how easy it is for it to happen. So bearded dragons and some of this information I will have blurred through in the short, but this is not going to be too much longer than the short, but it is going to go over what's going on in more detail. So you understand, okay, a minute, 45 seconds in and let's get to the meat and veggies. Bearded dragons, guys, cannot breathe underwater, obviously. They can swim, some better than other because they swim with the, uh, a lot of the times with the way of doggy paddle, they just keep flapping their arms like crazy. But something that they can do is they can take in a lot of water, they can poof themselves up real big and real wide and float while paddling all their feet like crazy. Now, some bearded dragons in the wild who have grown up by water are shown to swim better. They actually tuck their back legs in. They use their tail as a rudder. Okay, fine. So this is an animal that can be comfortable in the water, by the water. Cool. When you're giving your bearded dragon a bath, people will say, you know, fill it up halfway up their back. You just want to make sure that they can be in a relaxing posture with their head above water. Okay, cool. <clears throat> the bearded dragon's windpipe, their glottis, like most lizards, right on the bottom of their mouth. You can see inside, you'll see it in there. It's got the valve is right at the front that opens when they're sucking in air, closes when they're eating, closes when they're drinking. Got it. Nostrils, those are for breathing. Same thing. Little valves right about halfway in that shut when their nose is underwater. That way the water doesn't flood in and, you know, drown them. This is actually, on a side note, why if you pull the nose trumpets too early, you can damage those valves. <clears throat> which isn't the end of the world, unless your bearded dragon's face goes underwater and then they can't shut those valves. A lot of people damage those valves, but the bearded dragon's face never goes underwater its entire life, never drowns. Okay, so... When bearded dragons get most of their water in the wild, it's actually typically from drinking up dew in the morning from greens. They wake up in the morning and they lap up, they gulp up a ton of dew from these greens. Oh, Phoenix has realized she's in the water and she's going to drink. Perfect. But when they find, <coughs> excuse me, and want to drink from standing bodies of water, 
very common for them to do in the wild. They'll dip their whole face in under the water, or sometimes just their mouth and their nose. It depends how deep the water is. They'll close the waterproof layer of their inner eye and their outer eye, and they will start lapping in water like we see here. Boom. Then you see what she did? She's raising her head up like that. Then they raise their head up like that when they're done. So they fill up their gullet, their beard down here. It gets filled with water, just like when they eat. They fill it with food, and then they swallow their food. If you pick your bearded dragon up during this process or even during the drinking process, that squeezing on their abdomen, their lungs, can cause that valve in their mouth to open. Their windpipe will open to suck in air because of the... <clears throat> Just like if you pick someone up. Well, if you pick someone up and squeeze them when they got food in their mouth, they're probably going to choke. That's what the bearded dragon does. That valve will open. Their mouth is now full of water and all that water gets sucked like a vacuum straight into their lungs, causing them to drown. Even though they're not underwater, you've caused them to suck in that water into their lungs. For a human, it's normally okay. Our diaphragm will start um, convulsing. We will choke. We will spit up that water. Bearded dragons don't have a diaphragm. In fact, the only way they clear their lungs is they take a deep breath in, and then they try to blow out as hard as possible to get stuff out of their lungs. Oh, 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 oh. she's done. She's like, get me out of here. Just, I'm almost done with the video. Now, they can't take a deep breath in if their lungs are full of water. So you have to do CPR. You have to do mouth to mouth. That's why this occurs. When you put your bearded dragon in a bath, you allow your bearded dragon to drink. They'll dip their head under the water. They'll fill up their mouth. It's nice and easy. And then when they're done, they'll tip their head up like this. With the assistance of gravity and everything, they're gonna swallow all of that water down into their stomach. Then they'll open their mouth because they've had their breath held for X amount of time, sometimes over a minute, and they'll take some breaths. Once they take those breaths, then you know it's safe. You can pick your bearded dragon up. Now, if they've bloated themselves up with water and you pick them up, you squeeze their stomach, they might cough up some water. They might throw up a little bit of water. It's okay. It's coming from their stomach. It's not coming from their lungs. They're going to be okay. But ideally, after a bath, you want to pick them up very flat and very gently if they've drunk and drank and drunk and drank. So you don't squeeze any of that out. It's just like squeezing a full person after they drank a lot. There's a lot in there. If you were to cause that suffocation, you'll see your bearded dragon will get very dark. It'll start struggling very, very early and it sh normally it opens its mouth. You got to turn them upside down. You got to try to help with... Uh, gravity to get the water out of their lungs and you got to breathe for them. You got to breathe into their mouth. You can cover their two nostrils. You can pinch cup the head like this and you got to breathe in to get air into their lungs to push that water out, right? Displacement. Now watch Phoenix as I take her. I know her belly's full of water. Just like that. Nice and flat. We're not squeezing anything. Hopefully this helped answer more of those questions that I couldn't fit in one minute video. And have you guys remain calm, knowing that the bath is not going to kill the dragon, just knowing that you need to let your bearded dragon drink after a bath. Right, Phoenix? Mm, pissed already. All right, guys. Take care. Thank you guys for supporting my reptile rescue family.